morning, one and all, and welcome to Wee TV. Now, this morning, I am keeping company with Chris Judge and Keith Walsh of Turtlehead. Lads, thanks a million for coming in. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Now, tell me this, Turtlehead, what exactly is Turtlehead? Uh, Turtlehead is a t-shirt company I set up about two years ago. Um, I've always been into art and into t-shirts, mm -hmm. and I want to do something a little bit different with that. So I got some artists from around the world together, and uh, we've started designing t-shirts. Um, we want to do something a little bit different as well, not just art on t-shirts so we do everything is limited to 500 t-shirts or worldwide that's it once they're gone they're gone that's there's it no 500 more. limited 500, edition that's out the door gone. there's a couple of t-shirts that are just 50 but there's only one or two of those that are coming out this year um we get artists from all over the world or people from the public can submit their designs to us okay we got um one of the first big artists was david trigley who did this t-shirt first which was a really nice one that was oh, one right. of our first designs that we did mm -hmm. um then we got chris on board and will st ledger and this year we've got this one by an australian artist called adam crookshank that's coming out for electric picnic this year. Okay. Just out of curiosity, I I'm dying to know, where did you get the name Turtlehead? Um, there's a couple Just of different explanations for the name. There's a few stories. Do there's a few Go stories, on. but the, the the story that we come out with is uh, when a turtle comes out of his shell, he's out there. So it's fashion for making you come out of your shell. Okay. Good stuff. Well, it is worth a look, and uh, we're going to be getting Chris to come out of the shell here now momentarily. Uh, check out his kicking website, chrisjudge.com, and uh, also at turtleheads.ie. And if you want an idea as to what we're talking about, I suggest you pay attention to it right about now. Here's a little montage sequence of what the labs have up for grabs. Have a look. Great stuff there. So we have them kind of strewn around um, the futon area at the moment. We have like Dousa, we have um, this one here. I like this one. What exactly is the idea behind this fella, Chris? Uh, this one's called uh, Lone Leaf. So this, okay. this is the one that I worked on with, with Keith. Uh, okay. So it's basically the last leaf on the tree uh, in autumn. So you can see his kind of scared little face there. We like, and where do you get the idea? Like, what inspires you in terms of designs, prints, what have you? It can come from anywhere. I mean, like, all the artists have their own ideas of what they want to do on T-shirts. And I leave it totally up to them where the, the, the ideas come from. We try and do something that's a little bit sort of socially conscious or a little bit sure. funny, a little bit quirky. We don't do anything, like, political because there's enough of those companies out there. Okay. So something bright, something colourful, something that anybody can wear. Excellent. Well, amongst your many talents, Chris, I believe you're a dab hand at Mutant Balloon Heads. Yeah, you, yeah. I've known to, to you, you, draw on balloons uh, before. Yeah. Okay, well, that's exactly what we want you to do. So I'm going to hand you a balloon. Okay. And I'm going to hand you a pen. No and we'll leave you to get cracking. Folks, stay with us. We will be discussing more about Turtlehead, the, the, the production of these class t shirts, a little bit later on. But in the meantime, pay attention to the Once a Week show. See you in a bit. Welcome back to WeTV. If you've just joined us, this is Chris Judge. That is Keith Walsh, and they are Turtlehead, my friends. Now, earlier I set you the challenge, Chris, of coming up with a mutant balloon head, and to be fair to him, that's exactly what he did. So, we've we, we've drawn this mush. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that wasn't really me. No, uh, yeah, we drew. I drew a mush on it, and basically, so when you let when you let the air out, you get this really detailed thing because. Obviously, when I was a kid, I didn't have a photocopier and you couldn't reduce stuff, so... Sure. You just let it out, and you get this lovely little... And then, if you <laughs> check that out, look at the level of detail on that bad boy. Yeah, well, you can, he's kind of crumpled, but, uh, yeah, you can kind of see. Absolutely fantastic. Little mini mutant face. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> now, uh, before we at WeTV decided to ramble on it down to Turtlehead HQ and find out exactly how the uh, production of the T-shirts evolves. Have a look at this. Hi, welcome to Turtlehead. I'm going to run through how I make one of my designs. The idea behind this one is called uh, The Last Leaf Standing. Basically the whole thing is worked in a circle because if you look, look at a tree that's kind of how it works. Next up would be the leaves down the bottom. So the, the actual leaf will look a bit like this. The leaves on the ground will have kind of X's for eyes. Got a sad little face. The last uh, leaf standing is going to be this scared leaf. Looks something like this. I'll do it up on the computer properly. So this, uh, I've just scanned it into Photoshop and tidied it up and kind of cleaned it up. So this is it. I brought the tree into Flash and recolored it. And then the next step is to draw the little leaf, the leaf kind of come up with the, the actual character. So this is uh, kind of the main guy who'll be at the top of the tree. The next step was to bring in 
a bunch of these dead leaves on the ground. So I'm going to send this over to Keith now in Turtlehead. Just received Chris's drawing in. I'm just going to open it up now to see what he sent us through. So everything looks great on that. So we're just going to send this off to the printer now. So we've just got our first sample back from the printer and the leaves look like they're perfect. You can see all the detail in the little X's on the eyes and the white is nice on the top leaf. So lads, I believe you've got an online exhibition that's coming up soon. That's right, yeah. Um, myself and Keith have kind of organised, uh, I'm going to do 22 paintings and uh, we're going to do put it out on uh, like exhibit it online and sure. have an opening time at seven o'clock like a kind of It'd be exactly like a virtual gallery. Yeah, it hasn't been done before. We haven't seen it done in Ireland no, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it's a new thing we're going to try and um, maybe in May we're going to try and put it up on, on the sure. website. Yeah. Excellent. Well, something we haven't seen before, folks, is a Wee TV t-shirt, but we do have a limited edition. Would you look at this? There they are, the Wee TV t-shirts, courtesy of the crowd from uh, Turtlehead. And if you want to win 15, we have 15 of those fellas to give away. And if you want to get your hands on one, then you need to go on to the Bebo page and state, we love free stuff. You do that and you get your hands on a t-shirt. You need to do it before 1 p.m. And these fellas will go swiftly, we should also point out. Uh, unfortunately, Chris... Your time here on WeTV has come to a close. Yeah, well, thank you but for But we have me. appreciated you coming in, and uh, do join me afterwards when Will St. Ledger, another member of the Turtlehead crowd, an artivist and something of a stencilist, I believe. He is indeed. He will also be joining us, so do tune in for that. We'll see you later. <laughs>